G'day, Starlo here. These days, the subject of fishing lines can be quite confusing. There's just so much to choose from when it comes to picking the right line for the particular style of fishing that you want to do. Now, I've got a selection of some of Shimano's major styles of line here, and I wanted to go through and explain the significant characteristics of each and how they suit different styles of fishing. Let's start off with braids. A lot of keen anglers, including myself, have switched to braided multi-filament lines for almost all of our fishing, particularly our lure fishing, and there are a number of reasons for that. It's extremely thin for its strength, and it has very low stretch. Now that means you can get lots of it on a reel, it casts further, it cuts down through the water better, and because of that low stretch you can feel everything that's going on. You'll feel the slightest bump on your lure, or if you picked up a strand of weed on the hooks and that's really important but there are different kinds of braids let's start off by having a look at two of Shimano's most important braided lines and firstly we'll look at Power Pro this braided line uses American-made Spectra fibres. Now it's what I would call a workhorse braid, made for the rough and tumble of day-to-day -day fishing. It's extremely abrasion resistant, it's tough, it's easy to use, you don't have to learn special knots to tie it, and it's reasonably affordable. It's the braid that I would choose when targeting hard fighting fish around tough structure, things like coral and rock and bridge pylons. Power Pro is an honest, reliable, dependable and very tough braid for your day-to-day -day fishing. No wonder it's so popular. But let's look next at Kairiki Braid, another one of Shimano's braided lines. This one's built on Japanese-made Isanzus material, previously known as Dyneema, and you'll also hear it referred to as PE. Now look, if Power Pro is the workhorse, then Kai Ricky is the thoroughbred racehorse. It's what I'd call a super finesse braid. It's extremely thin for its strength, also has very low stretch, but it's able to cast that little bit further because it's so skinny. It'll get your diving lures down a little bit deeper in the water column, and it just gives you that fine edge, that extra couple of percentage points that people like tournament anglers in particular find so valuable. But it's also got Plenty of applications for your social fishing. So two great braids, Kairiki the thoroughbred and Power Pro the workhorse. Okay, let's look now at some monofilament or single strand lines in both nylon and fluorocarbon from the Shimano stable. And the first one I want to look at is Shimano's X-Age monofilament. This is a Japanese made nylon monofilament and it's ideal for all kinds of fishing. Like most nylon lines, it's quite stretchy, but that can actually be an advantage in some scenarios. It's very hard for fish to see in the water. It's super easy to tie knots in and it's very abrasion resistant. It's a good day-to-day -day knock around nylon line and it's well priced. Another specialized nylon monofilament from Shimano is this Tiagra leader. Now this is an extremely hard wearing tough line but it's also surprisingly supple. When it comes to toughness it's said to be up to 20 times more abrasion resistant than some other nylons and that's really important when you're building leaders for demanding situations in sport and game fishing off the rocks or whatever and it comes on this handy plastic donut dispenser these are really good you need a bunch of these in your boat or your tackle box for building leaders it ties great knots and it also crimps really well but i want to finish up by looking at one of my personal favorites and that's Oshia FC fluorocarbon material from Shimano. I have come to really rely on this stuff for so much of my fishing. It's my go-to leader material. This stuff's really tough thanks to its triple core construction, but it also ties super easy knots and the knots are strong. And interestingly, it's refractive index. In other words, 
the way it bends any light that's passing through it is almost exactly the same as that of water. Now theoretically that means it should be very hard for fish to see this stuff underwater. I don't know how true that is, but I certainly find that I can use slightly thicker Oshia leader material than I would in other materials and still get the bite. So where I might have been using four pound leader in the past for brim or trout, I'll step up to six in this and I'll just get the same amount of bites. That's really important to me. It means I lose less fish and less lures. As you probably guessed, I really like this stuff. So there you go. Five different line and leader materials from the large Shimano stable and a little bit about each one to help you make your decisions when it comes to buying line. Until next time, tight lines.